What's up guys, Dakota here, and welcome back to the Driven Mad channel. As you guys can tell, we are in Austin, my cousin. Uh, we're in his GR86, and today's a pretty exciting day because we're gonna be adding, what are we doing? We're doing the Corsa Sport Cat Back Exhaust. We went and picked up the uh, GT350R. Yep, yep. Uh, the exhaust after, on that, yeah. <laughs> after hearing that, I was like, dude, I've gotta do something to my car because it is, Still fun, but it's just not as rewarding to drive unless I can hear the, the, the engine and the exhaust in the back. So we're gonna go through kind of the process of installing it. We're obviously gonna show you guys some before and after sound clips and as well as the actual process of installing it. So yeah, right now um, we're gonna get everything kind of set up, you know, get the jacks ready so we can lift it up and actually get underneath the car. And uh, we'll see you guys once we start taking this thing apart. Um, All right guys, so uh, we've got the car and the jack underneath it, we're about to start raising it up and then put the jack stands on the side. We currently have some homemade like wooden ramps that we drove the front up onto just to help get it a little bit higher off the ground. The jack spot for this is actually on the diff. There's a spot in the owner's manual that shows you that, which seems a little odd, but that's what they say. So um, we're gonna get it raised up. Once we get it high enough, we're gonna slide the jack stands in on the side, which is also not in the owner's manual, which is weird. So we're gonna slide those in. Then we'll actually get to work on the fun part, the exhaust. Yeah, you just bang it up, it doesn't matter. Now that we got the car in the air, we went ahead and moved the jack stands into, posi into position, which, as you guys can see right here, is where these little divots are, um, which again, it doesn't show you in the owner's manual, uh, but there you go, that's where you need to put them. All right, now that the car is on the jack stands, we're gonna go ahead and grab the exhaust and uh, get to work. So basically the next step is we're going to take a 14 millimeter socket and a ratchet and undo the muffler itself. I'll show you guys what that looks like here in a second. Then we're going to undo the muffler from the exhaust hangers and then we'll be able to work our way towards the front and get the rest of the exhaust taken care of. So we'll go ahead and get started. Let's do it. All right guys, so it turns out uh, we can't really get in there with a ratchet so we're going to use a uh, wrench. <laughs> I forgot the word. <laughs> we're going to use the wrench, get under there and then... Uh, you know, hopefully we can speed this process up. So we actually had to use a cheater bar just to get them loose because they were the bolts were on there pretty tight. So just broke out a little cheater bar, got got it loose, and then we were able to actually use the ratchet and the wrench. Exhaust hangers. Dude, did you get yours on already? I tried. So difficult. Oh, 
we're gonna need sarpy water. Yeah. Sarpy water. So we got some uh, WD-40 here that we're gonna use to lube up the exhaust hangers because uh, they're kind of a pain to get out. So we're gonna kind of spray around right here and then just try to wiggle it out as much as possible. All right guys, we got the exhaust off, and uh, or at least this part of the exhaust with the muffler. And just a tip for you guys, the exhaust hangers are extremely hard to get off. So there they are, right up there, both of them. We sprayed some WD-40 on it and had to pry it with some screwdrivers, some flatheads. And uh, once we got one side out, we were able to just kind of pull and pry it. The last one, we were able to get it out. So now we're gonna go ahead work on the mid pipe as you guys can see and then once we do that we should be installing the new exhaust all right guys so here you got to undo the spring so austin's holding the wrench while i'm uh ratcheting this so and then there's also an exhaust hanger on this guy so once we get that done then we should be good to go to install the rest of the system it's got this piece off this mid pipe it also had a hanger which was not quite as much of a pain as the muffler, but still, um, and we had to disconnect it there. That was up towards the front of the car, and now here is the new system that we just kind of slightly pieced together. It's like a two-piece mid-pipe. So these are technically two separate pieces. It mounts up here. You're gonna put a C-clamp there, and then this part, so you guys can see, this piece is a lot smaller than that, so it's less restrictive, or it should be less restrictive. That's the goal. And here's the muffler. The muffler itself is also smaller. Yeah, the muffler itself is also than, smaller. So uh, here, old, side. new, old muffler, new muffler. So we're getting close. The car now has nothing from the basically the catalytic converters back, hence the cat back. Um, so we're going to get to work on installing this piece first, and then back, then the mufflers, and then last but not least, the tips. And all right guys, so in the exhaust kit, they actually give you a little gasket that goes on the end of the new one to kind of help be more like the factory one. And they give you these bolts right here, um, which you use instead of using these bolts, the factory ones with the spring. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get that mid pipe installed. Um, and then what we'll probably do is just catch up with you guys when we do the muffler, and then we'll come back with a cold start. So. On the factory exhaust system, there's this little guy, which in the instructions, they actually don't tell you to take off, um, but you have to in order for it to line up with the gasket underneath the car. So when you're working on it, make sure to take this piece off of the, once you remove this mid piece here, take this off, it just pops on. It doesn't, as you guys can see, there's no threads. It doesn't twist off, it just kind of pulls off a little bit. Uh, but the instructions don't tell you that. And they also don't tell you a couple other things. So instructions, not super clear, but we're making our way through it.
guys. So uh, as you guys heard the startup, it was awesome. Yeah, I was I mean, very happy with it. Cold start sounds great. So this is the first time either one of us have installed a cat back system. I don't know, I've done an axle back before. Quick recap, the instructions, not as clear as they should be. They nope. missed out on a couple of key parts or maybe we're just that dumb to where we didn't realize we should have been doing it in the first place. That's also a possibility. Other than that, once we got the old exhaust off, it was a pretty much smooth sailing yeah, I mean, after. Once we figured out on. how to put the first part, it's a two part mid pipe. And once we figured out how to put the first part of that mid pipe on, the rest was so simple. Yeah. Um, but it's just the instructions themselves, like they're called do it yourself instructions, but it was more like figure it out yourself. So yeah. it was really, I don't know. Once we figured it out though, it was super easy. So right now, I mean, the exhaust is on and it's obviously been installed and it's not anything crazy you know it's not like it's booming right now to where you, you couldn't daily drive it 30 miles per hour in fourth gear just through the neighborhood and 2000 rpm yeah and it sounds very normal uh it, you can hear a little bit more than what i could stock accelerating a little bit quicker oh, that sounds yeah. so much yeah, it's got it's got a little bit of extra extra oomph to it Just being able to hear the exhaust instead of just the engine is so much better. Yeah. yeah. There's gonna be some pops. I think it's also fair to say that we're a little worn out. Oh, so beat right now. <laughs> it took us about what five hours to get it installed? <laughs> Three hours to get it uninstalled and two to put it on. Yeah. yeah. so much better man i'm so yes. happy uh not really sure if you can see me hold on there we go all right so we've got the box back here that we're going to take back as you guys can see it's taking up most of the space so anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions please feel free to leave a comment down below because i'm sure we missed some stuff um and i can hear him driving off now so um anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you found it helpful um or at least you know enjoyed hearing uh hearing his car kind of go through the revs if you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, click that bell notification so you get notified for more videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one because I am tired. Take care.